Hey y'all, welcome to a Saturday Suds on Uncle Bub's Bell Buckle Beer Reviews. Alright, what I got today is another brew from a brew club. Finally got my brews in from a brew club. And uh, because it's that time of year, man, it just worked out perfect. You know that I'm doing uh, a countdown to Halloween. We got three days left, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. And this beer from my brew club this week is a pumpkin head from Shipyard Brewing Company out of Portland, Maine. It's a 4.5% alcohol by volume. And, of course, you know, I, I'm not real big on pumpkin-type beers. But, I mean, it's that time of year, and it was perfect that it come when it did. So we can review it during this countdown. All right, so we're going to try this pumpkin head ale from Shipyard Brewing. Well, that had a screw top on it. I'll be dying. All right, so here we go. See what we got here. And once again, it's got that dark, rich color. It's not as dark as some of the Oktoberfests, but it has a darker, a darker hue to it. If y'all can see that, tell can't see much, can't tell much about it here in the dark, but you know, since it's Halloween, countdown to Halloween, I thought it'd be good to do these out here in the dark. So I had to bring me a light out here and all that kind of good stuff. Anyway, whatever. Now, I did a Blackstone pumpkin ale uh, out of Blackstone Brewery last week. And Blackstone's out of Nashville, Tennessee. Last Saturday I did a Blackstone and it was a pumpkin ale and it, I don't know, I, I couldn't smell anything in the head of it. But I can smell, I can smell spice in this one. And I can mildly taste the spice in it as well. Yeah, it's got that, that nutmeg y type pumpkin spice thing where you think of pumpkin spice, clove, whatever. Nutmeg y clove, whatever it is. Pumpkin head ale. 4.5% alcohol by volume. Um, it is a little bit lighter than the than the, the Oktoberfest I've been I've been doing here recently. But it's beautiful. It's a it's a beautiful bright bright be bright a bright brew. <laughs> Got a beautiful color to it. Nice head, nice clean head, about three finger head there, and it's just hanging in there. Got some lacing starting at the top of the glass. That was my beautiful wife. She's going to bring me home something to eat because she loves me. <laughs> All right, anyway, we was talking about uh, <clears throat> so this pumpkin ale by the Shipyard Brewing Company at a 5 or a 4.5% alcohol by volume is for all American workers. Hey, I love and appreciate y'all. Thank you for the hard work that you do day in and day out to provide for yourselves and your families and pay your own way. Cheers, brothers and sisters. All right, so, um, it had a little bit of the spice in the head, uh, but it does not translate into the body at all. I can't taste, uh, I say I can't, I can't really taste the, the, the clove or nutmeg in the body of it, um, which is not a bad thing. Uh, I can't really taste the pumpkin either, to put it that way. To put all of that together, um, it's a decent brew. Um, but it doesn't have a whole lot of the the pumpkiny flavor to it. Maybe just a little bit, but it's actually I'll actually like it better than the, than the pumpkin ale I had last Saturday. It, it tastes a little bit better to me. Um, I'm going to score this one a B plus. Because still, it's 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 not my thing really, but it is drinkable and decent. Um, 
and I do like it better than I did last that one last week. So B plus on this one. All right, y'all. So that's been a Saturday suds this week. Got two more days to Halloween. Um, y'all stay tuned. Take care. Love and appreciate y'all. Cheers.